everyone, this is Anna Lay Blog. We're coming at you with another video called Tips and Tricks. This is the second in a series of videos that I am creating. I'm going to push on with the first three tips for this week. So today's top tip is the concealer and or the colour corrector for those eyes. Now, I am an older woman, a very mature woman, and over the years your skin starts to stretch and sag and there's all these type of little bits and pieces. Or sometimes you may be a young woman that just happened to be born with certain types of stuff that's happened in you already. And I'm talking about the lines underneath here. And I'm talking about when you put on makeup, sometimes if you put on too much and, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes later they start to cake up and then you see all these little creases and it is not a good look i mean you have your lips done perfectly your eyebrows your eyeshadow and then you just have these creases no nah, it wants that yeah i mean we can't walk around with photoshop attached to our face through the screen can we in real life no we can't so what i'm talking about is this You've got your concealer, okay, or your colour corrector either, anything that you're going to do to cover your dark circles underneath your eyes. I've really got makeup on, you can see I've got it. Oh yeah, by the way, let's talk about this look here. I'm going Cosmos. I was feeling kind of purple, kind of Cosmos. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to put on this shocking purple. And then I thought, you know what, let me just put some my, that, that my surprise dragon eyes. I'll just put some purple, I'll put it over the brown and over the pink, you know, just to create a kind of a newish colour. So i just got this thing going on. Anyway. I digress so anyway <laughs> I get this what I've done I dab it so a couple of dabs just underneath my eye then I'll take my finger whatever finger is comfortable for you to use I tend to use this one for some reason I don't know why I just find it quite effective or sometimes I use my index finger but this one is what I use most and then what I do is I will start to dab and I don't dab straight underneath there I'll dab from where I put it in and then I will gradually work my way up and by doing that, when I've dabbed from down here, I'm kind of taking off some of the makeup already. And so I, it's just more or less me spreading the makeup underneath my eyes. So I don't want to kind of like go straight in there. I just want to dab and I just keep dabbing like that until it's fully blended. Some people use a beauty blender, but I just like to use my fingers. I kind of find my concealer, so I'm just going to use my foundation to put a little speck at the back of my hand. Just tap it from below. Like don't go straight into there yet. Just tap it from below and then work your way up and then just dab it in like that you see and then go for a little bit more if you need more it's fine you've got a little bit on your hand and just do the same thing don't go straight into it just start just below it and then work your way up so it's basically you're just building it and it gives you more control and then you just blend it in like that so then it just helps to give you a smoother finish and more defined finish yes if you've got really really creased eyes unless you're going to have surgery there's not much you can do about that but one thing with what we're trying to do is trying to stay away from it creasing up and caking up within minutes or even hours later on during the day and you just want to do it even if it will help look up and just tap and just dab to the area that you want okay that's tip number one tip number two of these gorgeous eyebrows here now Everybody loves putting their eyebrows in different ways. Okay. What I like to do is keep my eyebrows as natural as possible. That means maintaining the shape that I already have, but just manipulating it in places where I think it needs it and to just give it that little bit extra power. So what I, what I tend to do, after you've brushed and shaped your eyebrows, okay, there's two things that um, you can do. I'm gonna do tip, so tip 2A is you get a lighter color like here, this is in, this is the Makeup Revolution eyebrow palette. Okay, lighter color here, and then what you do is you use the lighter color, and then you use it at the this part of your eyebrow, and then you just shape it obviously do it in the shape that you want. Okay, and then when you reach about here, okay, you get your darker eyeshadow palette, and then you just continue, and then you just continue so you have like a light so it, so it looks more natural okay i mean everybody's eyebrows are different like i said some people just fail all the way through some people don't have that definition but depending on what kind of look you want to go for there's a tip that you might want to you know you might want to use when to keep more natural or tip to b you can just use the same color whatever color you're going to use just the same color you might want to start at the edge here and then when you use that, as you get on, you use the remainder of the product on the brush to then feather and um, colour in your brow. So then that means it's the same colour but lighter. 
so the more heavier usage is of him by the time you get his fade it's fainting 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 and then again it gives you another more natural look yes yeah, so these are two ways I've discovered and I actually like I like using both of them so tip number three tip number three is a hair care tip now this is for many for people with black hair coarse hair coily hair kinky hair and this tip is a summer tip okay mainly for the summer months when it is hot when the air can be really really dry and as much as our skin loves the sun and we ourselves love the sun our hair loves the sun some of it but not fully and not totally because the sun can get very hot which equals dry hair which will equal breakage so what i've done is this I purchased a spray bottle either online or your beauty supply store, a nice little one like this. Then I will put some water in it. How much you, what you put is entirely up to you. If you want a fresh bottle all the time, you probably only need about that much water. If you don't mind it lasting a couple of days, which it can last a few days, you can put how much if you want, depending on how much you're going to use. And if you're going to use it for your family, you might as well do a full bottle. Now, in here, I have got water. And I've got, um, and I put lukewarm or tipid water in just to start off with. It doesn't have to be warm when you, when you do it, but just so it melts everything nicely. And then I will add my favourite conditioner, the one I'm using at the time. Um, in here I've got the olive one and my hair was loving that. I just did a review on it and my hair loved it so I put some olive in there. And I also added some glycerin. Now I'm not going to lie to you, I don't know how much glycerin, how many drops and stuff like that. It come, my, The one I bought comes in a bottle and I just poured a little bit. I purchased this one, this is vegetable glycerin kosher food grade usp 250 ml bottle i bought this a while ago on ebay um if you um this is 99.9 percent .9 pure if you are unsure about whether things are genuine and what they are when you sell stuff that most people should have like a certificate that they get from their manufacturers or the suppliers so if you uh send them an email and ask if they can send you the um I, you know what i really kind of remember there's a name for it um, uh, that uh, just a certificate of the grading and stuff like that to make sure that everything is above board. Now, what I do is I put my stuff in it and I should give it a good, good shake. So every time I use it, I shake it up and then what I do is I will just spray my hair. What I found by doing this method, it keeps my hair from drying out. I remember one summer it was really, really hot. Um, and I wasn't working with my dad, I was at home all the time, but every so often I was spraying my hair, so I was spraying my hair about three times a day, and by the end of the week I noticed some serious, there was some growth, I'm like, I don't remember my hair being that long, but my hair absolutely loved it. Now here's a bit of caution, glycerin, it attracts moisture, so it helps keep your hair in here nice and moisture, that's good. However, when using glycerin, if you use it in really, really hot weather, it can have the opposite effect and actually dry out your hair i suggest that when you do this just put a little bit in and again i haven't measured it out i just kind of just you know pour a little bit um i probably put a, a teaspoon or two teaspoons in here that might even be too much but again you gauge it and if you find that you're using it and your hair's dry you just add more water you know it's simple you just you just and it all depends on your hair as well and everything else and where you are if you're inside all the time probably not going to affect you if you're outside all the time you know it might affect it so guys those are my three tips for this week i hope you enjoyed this video if you did you know exactly what to do so remember people be bright be bold be beautiful and most importantly be you this is Annalie blog and i'm going to take a look